my friends this is where they used to have the tunica queen and as you can see it's just empty right now um, but this is where she used to live and take people on a voyage i really wish i had been able to go when it was operational and here but um I have gotten the chance to go on some others in other cities, which were quite amazing, including Montgomery and Chattanooga and New Orleans. But I'm sure this one would have been unique, as most things are, to their area. This is the river park. They did such a beautiful job designing this park. I'm not really sure what has happened to it. Um, it used to be open, but I know there was a lot of flooding the last times I was here, and the park entrance and drive, I think, got washed away. There is a back entrance, and it said this was the detour, but I was only able to walk in. Well, here's a car. It says the road is closed. I do have several masks, gloves, alcohol wipes, hand sanitizer, and everything pandemic appropriate with me. However, this is um, very desolate. A lot of social distancing going on here, as you can see. This is one of the places I find great solace. Somebody left their shoes. Nice pair of New Balances. Wonder what happened to that person. If they just went wading in the water or walking in the grass. But as you can see here, gives you a lay of the land. The Great River Road Network um, starting up in Minnesota and traveling down all the way until we get to here, the Tunica River Park, Delta Blues Museum, definitely a treasure as well. And then it goes to the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, and here you have a famous author who, um, Mark Twain, Samuel Clemens, who definitely wrote about the mighty Mississippi and made it famous. So I hope everybody's okay without their shoes. Um, but yeah, this is the boat slip and um, the pier and the dock and everything. As you can see, it is closed. I've tried to get in, but um, I guess I could crawl underneath. But I've respected the fact that it is closed. So I'll just kind of walk on a little bit. Show you how it might have been. So even the design of this is really, really nice. Um, they did a great job architecturally with this space. And it's a real treasure to come here in social distance and uh, see it by myself, but it is a shame because a lot of time, energy, and money was put into creating this. So I'm not really sure um, what happened. It seems as recently as a couple years ago, it was actually open. But let me see if I can show you a little bit more and we'll see if the car and the shoes might belong to the same person. There's any signage. I've been inside the building, but I regret not having paid to go through the museum, especially as it sounded like a real treasure. Um, okay, so there's the coronavirus. Okay. 
So it appears that they might still be open, um, at least in the recent past. Let me try the door here. No, nope, the door is closed. Um, you see that they are, in fact, open. But um, it's interesting, they call it the Wuhan coronavirus pandemic. So how deep is the river? The river flows over 2,300 winding and looping miles from Lake Itasca in Minnesota to the Gulf of Mexico. This is amazing. It supplies drinking water to over 18 million people in cities and towns along its route. The river flows at average of three miles per hour here at the Tunica River Park, but during times of high water, that number jumps to about four miles per hour, about the same speed as a person walking at a fast pace. The depth of the river changes from day to day depending on rainfall amounts upriver as well as the time of year. The river is less than three feet deep as it leaves Lake Itasca, but grows to over 200 feet deep at New Orleans. River gauges in cities such as St. Louis, Memphis, Vicksburg, Natchez, Baton Rouge, and New Orleans measure the depth on a daily basis. To determine the river's approximate average depth at this spot along the river, add 38 feet to the daily river stage gauge at the river park. So this is um, 38 feet deeper right here. They um, obviously flooding is something that has happened a lot. Um, here is the museum store. So there still seems to be things for sale in the shop. So I'm hoping any closure is just temporary. Um, you have the Tunica River Park Museum shot glasses, what everyone would want. And you've also got mugs and uh, yeah, so let's see if we can see anything else. This looks to be not in use for a while. There is the inside of the museum. Um, yeah. The grounds do look pretty kept up. Um, and it looks like there are some offices that are just recently vacated here. And it looks like some gloves. So clearly, maybe they're just closed for the pandemic and they will be reopening. So hopefully both you and I can see the inside of the museum at some point. So three to four miles per hour, the same clip as probably me walking and talking and holding my camera phone for you here. So pretty amazing that the river travels the same speed as humans. I have been accused of being a fast walker, so I hope I'm not making you dizzy. There is an owl up here. Unfortunately, not a real one, but pretty cool if you can see it. He is overlooking the river as well. So my friends, it is a cloudy day. The mighty Mississippi. Again, such a beautiful building. Um, I really hope that you can see it with your own eyes someday because it is a really cool gem. There's a beautiful walking path I shall take you on in a minute. And there's the lone car. Okay, so these must be park cars that belong to the river park. So they do not appear to be anyone's. But I wonder about those shoes. Somebody is missing their shoes. Or just decided to be barefoot and fancy free. So here's the entryway to the river park as it was original seems to have been closed for quite some time 
and I'm believing it was flooding that may have washed out the road. But just to show you, this is the view as you might be coming up from the original design. And this is probably too long of a video, but this is a really special place for me, so wanted to bring you along. Actress Gabrielle signing off for now.